Have you guys been to so, uh, what was your relation with the Star Wars universe before entering as an actor and actress in this world? What was your uh, relation with all the franchise? I, I grew up with Star Wars. Um, Ewoks were my first love. And I would play Ewok adventures in my backyard, but I had never seen any of the animated shows before The Mandalorian, so I had a lot of research to do. Did you watch them all? Not all of them, no. but I, I... I refused to watch the uh, cartoon. What? The, what? The cartoon. Yes. So Dave Filoni created on all those cartoons. I'm saying it again on purpose. because I mean, annoys, It annoys Dave that I call them cartoons. He's like, animation. So I call them cartoons just to make them Tomato, angry. tomato. Yes, um, but I actually have watched them. I just don't tell him, just to give him a hard time. Um, I grew up uh, at a huge Star Wars fan. One of the first things I recall ever watching, besides my grandfather's film in the theaters, is A New Hope. And so I'm the last of eight kids, and we all, you know, my mom would, that's where she'd take us, because it's the only time we'd be quiet. And then we'd sit there and we'd watch, you know, and I remember watching it and wanting to be, um, you know, uh, Han Solo or, or Luke Skywalker, but I wasn't old enough to get those toys yet, like my brothers had them. So I had to, eventually I was allowed to play with Boba Fett. And that was the one I got. Like I couldn't, everyone else, my brothers would take. I know, right? Yeah. And I didn't know what to do. Yeah. yeah. But then, like, that was it. That's how I kind of... That was my guy. I didn't get the Falcon. My brother got the Falcon. My other brother got the X-Wing. I always wanted a land speeder. My sister got that. She didn't even oh. like Star Wars. <laughs> so I had Boba, and that was it. And Boba was my guy, and I still have my Boba Fett. Um, from then? 1981, what, Empire Strikes Back? Like, wow. like whenever that came out, I still have it. Um, to this day, it's amazing. It's jacked up, but it's still it's still my guy, and yeah. So I was always so we waited um, eighteen hours to go see outside the theater to go see Empire Strikes Back. Wow. Twenty four hours to see uh, Return of the Jedi because you couldn't buy seats in advance. Like and thirty six hours. hours to see Beyonce. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, I'm not the That's only one. Forty eight hours. To see I think, no, 48 hours was E.T. out in front of the Cinerama, the Cinerama Dome. Yeah, yep. And I got paid, I was, I was just a kid, but like, I got paid to do it because I was holding seats for Pam Dauber, my brother and I. Wow. Pam Dauber from War Committee. I'll never forget, it was so cool. And then I, instead of watching the movie, Pam Dauber sit right next to me. I was like, <laughs> That's amazing. How much money did you make? Twenty dollars, yeah. but it was a lot. Wow, that's good. So, yeah, I mean, that, I give like a hundred dollars. You guys used to get paid two cents each to pick up pine cones in the yard. Really? We I had used these to, huge pine trees. I used to get um, not spanked to pick up things in the yard. <laughs> I feel like she got a better deal. Yeah, I think she did too. Yeah, uh, I used to pick up chestnuts. We'd have chestnuts. Oh. We'd clean up with garbage with uh, uh, paper bags from the grocery store. And then we would hide behind bushes and throw them at cars. Yes! We didn't get any oh, money for that, but we got exercise. Yeah, you had run. Yeah. Yeah, you one kid's got a different world. I grew up in Michigan. He's I was just going to say, citrus. Michigan is the yeah. chest. Okay. Yeah, I, I, my first, uh, I, saw, I saw Star Wars in the theaters when I was a little boy. And um, it was phenomenal. It's a weird time, too, to be so small and see that. And then watch Empire and then Return of the Jedi. Like, those years between seven and the years, fourteen or six years. is like is like that's a you're very different. And oh, so yeah. and so I only think of Star Wars as Star Wars the movie, and then I think of Return of the Jedi and Empire Strikes Back. I don't think of Episode Four. Oh my God, no, yeah. no, all that stuff was like you've got to be a different age for that. So I'm like, like I see the different eras of people that are yeah. fans see Star Wars in different light. I guess. Yeah. And I remember that uh, Millennium Falcon that was like, oh, it was huge. It was huge. Oh, yeah. And you take the top off the back. Oh, it's the best.
I always loved Han Solo and, and uh, Chewbacca. Yeah. That relationship for me is like what made me fall in love with Star Wars. Yeah. I was like, oh, these guys are pals, and they're they're a little they're pirates. a little edgy, but they're pals. They were pirates. Yeah, they were pirates. Yeah. Oh, I loved it. Yeah. So, uh, as you are, uh, you mentioned it. Uh, what about the second trilogy? So, do you think do you like it or uh, because uh, there is quite a lot of one, issues? Two and three. Uh, yes, the, 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 the second the in the chronological. Yeah, the prequels. Yes, the um, prequels. <laughs> yes. I I had a young daughter at that time, right. so for me it was great because I got to relive the things like my mom did for us and take them to the movies, and this was part of it. Um, I grew up in fandom in general with my grandfather being John Wayne. We would have fans, you know, even after he died, like show up at the house. Um, so seeing people respond the way they did negatively, um, for me it was a, I didn't, I don't like that. I figured if you don't like it, cool. Don't, don't watch it. Don't you know, like, like coming after a kid, like they did to that, that yeah. one kid. Like they came after him, and I was yeah, like, he was what, nineteen years old, right? Not even that. No, I'm talking about the kid who was oh, talking about about both of them. He played young Thor, right? Okay. And then, but like the way oh, they yeah, went the after little him, guy. yeah, yeah. After him, that kid had a terrible. So, time. and you think about that too. That's the advent of. The internet. Yeah, it's cool. And so the first guys that ever got flamed, I don't know if any of you guys have woken up and seen 10,000 different threads that talk about how bad you suck or what oh, yeah. awful person yeah. you are or how they want to kill your mom. <laughs> but that, that's all is available. And those are the oh, first guys. Yes. There's nobody psychologically that's fit to deal with that. Oh, it's a horrific onslaught. And, and, and that's what they were up against. Yeah. And yeah, it was horrible probably. I only I was like it was music videos and a Coca Cola commercial is what it looked like to me. But I was fighting. I was doing a different thing. And I was like, that's not my world. It just yeah. didn't matter to have the idea that I'm invested enough to tell somebody else how awful is is bananas to me. That's a sickness. Yeah, if I didn't ask for it, yeah. I don't want yeah. yeah, but I mean, I had like my grandfather when he died. I remember the day he died. I opened the front door of my house because someone rang the bell and. Uh, he asked for my parents. And so I walked away and we had kind of a ranch style house and I was walking back to get my mom because my mom's father is John Wayne. And uh, I'd never heard my father swear or throw a punch. And I went back to get my mom and all of a sudden I heard, hey, dad's fighting. So I went running up to the front and my dad had what I didn't know at the time was a reporter who just walked in and started taking pictures at our house. Oh, this is 1979, okay, wow. before the advent. But my grandfather was, this is when I started to understand that he was famous. And in relation to the new episodes, you know, one, two, three, and what they were going through, I watched this moment, and my dad beat the tar out of this fellow um, and broke his camera. I mean, wow. it ruined it. And the great thing was back then, the police just took the guy away and arrested him. Um, now we'd have a whole different problem. Yeah. But it was, that was when I opened my eyes and it's like, oh, this is different. Very different lifestyle we have. So when I see that them coming after people, you know, they, like I would read in the National Enquirer, it's like one of those uh, gossip rags. My grandma loved those. Yeah, no, my mom did too, she was hilarious. <laughs> but I'd be at the newsstand and I would look and it'd say, John Wayne, Double agent for right. Russia. <laughs> and I'd be like, Mom? Are you also a double agent for Russia? I mean, Russia? I am now. I thought so. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, but it was amazing to see this. And so, in relation to one, two, and three, uh, I just thought, what a fun thing for me to be able to do with my kids. And then to hear my kids talking about. Oh, they don't like him. He didn't like sand, so everybody's talking. I was like, stop. It was a great opportunity for me to teach my kids that that's none of your business. And Whatever you did, if you didn't like it, don't like it and walk away. You don't have the right to say a damn thing about it. You don't. But it's interesting to see these fandoms and how people's life, they allow it to be affected by something uh, in a way that's not positive. If it affects you positively, I'm all for it. Enjoy it. 
but otherwise walk away. Yeah. Why, there's too many things in life. Like, why would you, why, why are you gonna hold on to this negativity? I don't know, it's very interesting to me. What did you think of the episodes? I, didn't, I, I, I saw briefly and I was like, oh, this isn't for me. Yeah, yeah. different age, right? And I was busy. I was really busy running after my life. I didn't, yeah. I like that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For yeah, me, it's just one. Uh, yeah, I wonder if you were surprised by the fact that they go from the Mandalorian TV show to the big screen, uh, especially, of course, since um, it's been a while that there was a Star Wars movie uh, on screen, so that the Mandalorian kind of brings it back, because actually, currently, it sounds like the Mandalorian will be the first Star Wars movie in a while back on the screen, so... Uh, we're constantly surprised <laughs> because they don't tell us anything. We wish fans. we knew more. Yeah. So we all we all saw the announcement for the movie and we were calling each other, going, "Wait, what?" Yeah. And most of us are still going, "Huh?" Wait, what? I wonder that's what that's the thing about be. how this grew. I didn't know that I would be in Boba Fett until months before we shot Boba Fett. I didn't know that there'd be a third season that featured me until you know they bought me out for that year. Uh, but that's like, you don't have an idea. I thought I, I thought I did a couple episodes in the show that was Star Wars, and that's pretty cool. I had no idea what it would become, and so, yeah, we, we live in the mystery, right, of the unfolding, and you let the life unfold, and, and it's magical. Yeah, yeah, it, the, uh, I was dead set against them doing a movie. I wanted season four. I had already read the scripts, I'd already seen the story. I wanted season four. Oh, they have scripts for season four? Oh, they have them all. Oh. Yeah. I mean, they were... Are they not going to do both? I don't know. They, yeah. they have not a, They have not said no. I don't know how they don't do a season four, though. Yeah. Because to right. me, Disney Plus was built on The Mandalorian. Mm -hmm. Like, the reason why there's subscriptions is because of The Mandalorian, not because they have a library of movies. It's not. It's Mando... Are you Googling season four now? Yes. So, um, but I will say, when when I spoke to some people involved, uh, the sell was really good because they said, think about this, season one, Mando, camera's coming up, you're walking down the planks to go into the ice bar, and now when I was doing this, I told John and Dave, I'm like, this looks stupid. And they were like, really? I go, this is gonna be stupid. And so they brought me over to the monitors and this camera comes up and you know goes away and I'm holding the you know fob and I go in and it looks amazing. And it's in the volume and I'm like, I'm sorry, I was wrong. Yeah. And I mean it was just on a screen this big. Yeah. And I go, now think about this. We're gonna go do a movie. And at some point Mando's gonna walk in and we're gonna have a camera and it's gonna and it's gonna be on a screen yeah. like this. And the idea of that is, I don't know, it, it reminds me of the same feeling I had when Manda walks in in Boba Fett and it comes to the, the curtain of, you know, at, at the meat factory. And I was like, this is gonna be really cool. Yeah. So on a big screen, that's pretty cool. Well, yeah. I think it's gonna be quite amazing, actually. 